overflows surrender the disturbing your sleep mind immaculate by nature is untouched mind immaculate by nature is untouched by sansar and nirvana's mud but just like a jewel lost in a swamp but just like a jewel lost in a swamp though it retains its luster it does not shine though it retains its luster it does not shine as mental sloth increases as men mental sloth increases pure awareness diminishes as mental sloth increases suffering also grows shoots sprout from the seed and leaves from the branches shoots sprout from the seed and leaves from the branches separating unity from multiplicity of the mind separating unity from multiplicity in the mind the light grows dim the light grows dim and we wander in the low realms the light grows dim and we wander in the lower realms who is more deserving of pity than he who is more pity who is more deserving of pity than he who walks into fire with his eyes wide open who is more deserving of pity than he who walks into fire with eyes wide open obsessed with the joys of sexual embrace obsessed with the joys of sexual embrace the fool believes he knows ultimate truth the fool believes he knows the ultimate truth he is like someone he is like someone who stands at his door and flirting talks about sex he is like someone who stands at his door and flirting talks about sex surrender is essential to disturb your sleep your unconsciousness you are asleep unconscious this has to be disturbed without that without disturbing that sleep without surrender your inward journey will not begin why is it so there is a need while you are asleep for someone to disturb you the dawn has come the dawn of new awakening has come you someone has to wake you up and if you allow someone if you allow someone that is what surrender means if you allow someone to disturb your sleep that is what surrender means if you say okay i allow you to disturb me that is what surrender means a trust trust means that now even if this man leads you towards misery you will be ready to move you trust someone and you tell the person wake me up mom make wake me up dad or anyone else i have to get up and do my preparation or whatsoever be the reason you trust that man that he will not fail in disturbing you trust means that now even if this man leads you to his misery you will be ready to move you will not question him any more wherever he leads you 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 trust in him and he is not going to harm you if you do not trust then no progress is po- possible because you feel he is going to harm you 
and that is the problem with most of the seekers. They feel if I trust this man, if I surrender, he will take advantage and I will be harmed. You feel in your terms that he is going to harm you in many ways. And if you think I am to protect myself, then no further work is possible. If you mistrust your surgeon, you will not allow him to make you unconscious. You do not know what he is going to do. And you will say, do not operate, but allow me to be conscious so I can go on seeing what you are doing. I cannot trust you. You trust your surgeon. You allow him to put you into unconscious state before the operation can be performed. And that operation is essential for your health and survival. You trust your surgeon. He makes you unconscious because things are such that in your conscious state, surgery would not be possible to do. Your, un your consciousness would interfere. That is why trust is blind. It means you are ready even to become unconscious, even to become blind. You are ready to follow him wherever he leads. Only then does a deeper inner surgery becomes possible. When for this ordinary surgery to be performed on your body, you have to be put into an unconscious state so that the pain is alleviated. Only then does a deeper inner surgery becomes possible. And it is not only a physical or psychological surgery. It is, it is not only physical or physiological surgery. Instead, it is psychological. Much pain will be felt. Much anguish because catharsis is needed and you have to be thrown back to your original center, which you have forgotten completely, which you have forgotten completely, pulled back to your roots. You need to be pulled back to your roots again, which you have left behind miles and miles away. This is going to be arduous and difficult. Not only it even takes years, but if the disciple is ready to surrender, it can happen this very moment. It depends on the intensity of your surrender. It depends on the intensity of your surrender. Unnecessary time is wasted because the master has to go slowly and slowly so that you are prepared to trust more. Your trust grows deeper and deeper. And he has to do many things unnecessary. He has to do many things unnecessarily just to create trust. Just to perform the surgery, he has to create many things unnecessarily which can be discarded. No need to waste time and energy on these, but they are needed just to create trust. Saraha is one of those, one of the 84 Siddhas, Buddhist mystics, who attained. Saraha says to his disciple, who have become masters, behave in such a way that others can trust you. Behave in such a manner that others can trust you. I know 
I know now that you need no morality. I know now you need no rules. You have gone beyond and you can do whatsoever you like and you can be whatsoever you like. Now no system, no morality exists for you. But behave in such a way so that disciples' trust in you grows. That is why many problems arise. Whenever a master starts behaving in a new way, as had happened in case of Saraha, he left the royal path, he started moving towards Tantra, Everyone thought that he has gone astray. Kings sent the people to convince him. A group of people went to Saraha. Saraha sang 160 verses. They all danced around him and they disappeared. Then king got worried. His queen was interested in Saraha getting married to his her daughter, so she came. The Saraha again sang eighty verses. Queen danced and disappeared. This baffled king. What is happening? Whosoever goes there disappears. King himself came, and Saraha sang forty verses, and. King danced around him and disappeared. So three scriptures are there. People's song of Saraha, Queen's song of Saraha, 80 verses, and royal secrets of Saraha, 40 verses. That is why many problems arise when a master starts behaving in a new way. Jesus behaved in a new way which was not known to Jewish community. There is nothing wrong in it, but this became the problems. Jews could not trust him. Their past masters had behaved differently, and that is what had happened when Mary Madeline was followed by a group of people with stones in their hands, and this asked, Master, what do you say in the old scripture? It is written, a woman who is in adultery, she should be stoned to death. Their past masters had behaved differently and this man is behaving differently. He was not, fo he was not following the rules of the game, so they could not trust him. Thus, they had to crucify him. And why did Jesus behave in such a way? And why did Jesus behave in such a way? India was behind it. He was there for many, many years before he appeared in Jerusalem at the age of 32. Seventeen lost years were in India. He was taught here in Buddhist monasteries and he tried to follow Buddhist rules there where no Buddhist society existed. The there was no Buddhist society existing in Jerusalem. In a Jewish community, he was behaving as if he was living in a Buddhist community. And that created the whole problem. He was killed, misunderstood, murdered. And the reason was only this, that Jews could not trust him. Jews could not trust him. Enough for now.